हेलो स्टूडेंट्स गुड मॉर्निंग ऑल ऑफ यू दिस इज यू प्रभाकर वेलकम टू माई चैनल डॉन ऑफ किंग्स राइट होप यू आर ऑल हेल्दी एंड हैप्पी इन यूर होम्स स्टे होम स्टे सेफ इन दिस डिफिकल्ट सिचुएशन एंड टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट द ऑक्सो एसिड्स विच इज वेरी 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 इंपॉर्टेंट टॉपिक सो लिजन आई एम टेलिंग यू सो मेनी वेरीज क्यू दट इन माइंड ऑक्सो एसिड्स This is very, very, very so many varies. You put infinite varies. Important topic. Why this is so much important topic means if you see NEET exam, if you see mains exam, if you see the advanced exam, or if you see the local entrance test. Every entrance test definitely will have one question related to this thing. So in NEET and mains exams, you will be having four marks in your hand. If you are thorough with this. oxo acids concept in your local examinations definitely you can have two marks if you are thorough with this oxo acids even in advanced also you can have one question in your hands if you are very thorough with this oxo acids concept what i try to do is in this video i will try to bring all the plus 1 plus 2 all oxo acids to this one video and i will be explaining everything mostly how they will be asking questions in this oxo acids means the first one is what is the basicity of the particular acid next one is how many p double bond o or x double bond o bonds are there and how many resonating structures are possible for the particular given oxo acids which of the following is a strong oxo acid and the structures also very very important and how many lone pair electrons are present what is the oxidation state of the central atom how many xo p bonds are there are xo x bonds are present like that they will ask you number of questions based on this oxo acids let's get into the details of this oxo acids in this oxo acids let us see first which elements will be forming this oxo acids since this is acids first a group and second a group since they are metals there is no formation of oxo acids third a group mostly will be having the metalloids so they will also not form any oxo acid next group you see Fourth A group, which there will be carbon and then silicon. Carbon, silicon, germanium, tin and lead are present, but silicon after silicon there will be metalloid and metallic in nature, so they will not be forming. Carbon will form an oxo acid H two CO three. Silicon will form silicic acid. See this carbon, the structure of carbonic acid. C double bond O. OH and then OH silicic acid structure is SI OH OH and then OH come if you look at this thing carbonic acid in this carbonic acid the central carbon atom is present in plus 4 oxidation state here silicon will be present in plus 4 oxidation state only always remember what are the important points you have to see in these oxo acids means x double bond o bonds how many oh bonds are present what is the hybridization of central atom what is the basicity How many lone pairs are present? So these things you have to consider very much about this oxo acids. And then name of oxo acid, name of oxo acid, how it's prepared. So what is the name of the particular oxo acid? how the oxo acid is prepared and 
how many x double bond ho bonds are there how many oh bonds are there what is the hybridization of central atom what is the basicity and how many lone pair electrons are present these are the main things they will be asking you from the oxo acids concept the major problem for almost all the students in this oxo acids concept is name of oxo acid how to remember the name of oxo acids so let us see i will give you one short cut how to remember this name of oxo acid so see to give the name of oxo acid first we will consider the oxidation state in this oxidation state when it is present in maximum oxidation state that is known as ic acid when the element is present in the maximum oxidation state it will be ic acid when it is present lower oxidation state that is as acid when it is present in the maximum oxidation state it is ic acid lower oxidation state as acid very lower oxidation state hypo as acid so we will use the prefix hypo and then as acid will be there here if it is present in very maximum oxidation state we will use per ic acid like this we will do if you see for example i will give you hclo4 hclo3 hclo2 hclo if you see these things you know very well oxidation state how to identify the oxidation state of the central atom for this thing i will create a separate video how to identify the oxidation state but let me tell you what is the oxidation state for chlorine here chlorine is present in plus 7 oxidation state plus 5 oxidation state as ever whenever one oxygen atom is decreasing oxidation state decreases by 2 units plus 7 Plus five, plus three, plus one. Here you see maximum oxidation state. This is known as halic acid. Next, this is present in the lower oxidation state. Since that is present in the lower oxidation state, what we call it as as acid. We call it as HClO two. We call it as as acid. Since chlorine is there, we will say it is. chloric acid here chlorine is present so it will become chlorous acid it is present in very possible lowest oxidation state so it will be hypo chlorous acid and it is present in its maximum oxidation state then it will be per chloric acid so like this we can name and you see h3po4 h3po3 h3po2 h3po4 here it is present in plus 5 oxidation state so it will be phosphoric acid so only for halogen family you can use this per and per concept but other oxo acids we will simply use the direct ic acids h3po3 phosphorus acid h3po2 hypo phosphorus acid so like this you can remember or simply if you observe these things their oxidation state when they are present in the plus 5 oxidation state we are using the concept 
Stick acid when they are present in the two units less oxidation state means as acid we are using and when they are present in the very lowest oxidation state hypo acid we are using so see this thing when they are present in very maximum oxidation state we will be using the perthic acid when they are in the maximum oxidation state we will use the ic acid lower oxidation state means as acid we will use and very lower oxidation state we will be using the hypo next see the other terms are also present pyro acids pyro means heat whenever you take any oxo acid and heat that one means then you will get pyro acid so let us take H3PO4. Take another H3PO4. You will get H6P2O8. When you heat, it will lose water molecule and it will form H4P2O7. So like this. Whenever there is a pyro concept, whenever there is pyro concept, always take two acid molecules. Add them to get a formula, and then remove water molecule from that. You will get the resulting acid. Clear? Like this. These are the common things to remember when you are studying about the oxo acids. If you know these names, means Aram say you can know the remaining acids names. So when you are writing the name of acid, the first thing you have to consider is. Ic acids means they are present in the maximum oxidation state. As acids means they are present in the lower oxidation state. If they are present further lower oxidation state means hypo as acids we call them as. If they are present in the very higher oxidation state we will be using the pyric acids and pyro acid. When we use pyro acids means whenever there is a name pyro take the two molecules of the Acid and add them, remove water molecule from them. Whatever the formula remains there, that will be the formula for the particular acid. So that is the basics how to write the names. This is the carbon family elements. Here you see carbon is present in the plus four oxidation state. So that's why we call it as carbonic acid. Right? Yes. For a fifteen seconds, go through these things. After that, we will see the fifth A group oxo acid, which is the most important topic. Hope you have taken this thing, and let us get into this. Fourth A group is we have done. Fifth A group acids. So let us see this. Fifth A group acids. In the fifth A group, nitrogen will form the acids, phosphorus will form the acids, as well as arsenic also will form the acids. Let us see for nitrogen, what are the oxo acids? Means HNO3, HNO2, H2N2O2. This is unstable. So let us see HNO3 is known as nitric acid why it is nitric acid means the nitrogen is present in the 
plus 5 oxidation state. Here nitrogen is present in plus 3 oxidation state. Here it is present in the plus 1. When it is present in plus 5 maximum oxidation state, it is ic acid. When it is present in plus 3, it is as acid. When it is present in very possible lowest oxidation state, this is hypo nitrous acid. So nitric acid, nitrous acid, hypo nitrous acid. Let us see the structure of them. Always the structure has to balance the basicity as well as the oxidation state. So nitrogen double bond O, OH dative bond O. Since one hydrogen is there, that will be attached to the oxygen. So NOH will come, N double bond O and then dative bond O will come. Here you see nitrous acid. In this nitrous acid, N double bond O single bond OH will come. Since one oxygen is not there, that will be come. Here you see hyponitrous acid. It is nothing but NOH. Since H2N2O2 is there, and OH will come between nitrogen and nitrogen bond will be present and this will be the structure for this. Next let us see arsenic. Phosphorus there is vast number of oxo acids are there. I will explain on this thing. So let us see the arsenic. Arsenic is having two oxo acids that is H3ASO4 H3ASO3 this is as we know the names, arsenic acid, arsenous acid. Here you see the structure, arsenic, double bond O, OH, OH and then OH will come. Since three hydrogens are there, three, this basicity will be three only. Why basicity is three? Whatever the hydrogens are attached to the oxygen that can be donated and hence their basicity will be 1. Here 3 hydrogens are attached to the oxygen and hence basicity is 3. Here you see arsenous acid. Yes, double bond O, OH, OH and then H will come. Since one oxygen is not there, one hydrogen will be directly attached to the arsenic. Remember this, hydrogens attached to the oxygen only can be donated, the other hydrogens cannot be donated. So its basicity is 2. This is very very important topic. You can take this statement also. What is the statement means? Only, take down the statement, only, Hydrogens attached to the only hydrogens attached to the oxygen can be donated. Can be donated. Only oxygen hydrogens attached to the oxygen can be donated. As the number of OH bonds increases, as the number of OH bonds increases, their basicity also increases. As the number of OH bonds increases, their basicity also increases. Next, as the number of MH bonds increases, as the number of MH bond. M means you can take it as a central atom and you can note it down. M is a central atom and you can take the bond as MH bond. So as the number of MH bonds increases, their reducing nature increases. They Reducing nature increases. They reducing nature increases. Okay. Let's come to the details 
फास्फरस सो दिस इज वेरी वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट वर्सेटाइल एलिमेंट में ओनली द फास्फरस इज द वन व्हिच विल बी हैविंग द एनॉर्मस अमाउंट ऑफ द ऑक्सो एसिड लेट अस सी H3PO4 oxidation state is plus 5 this is known as phosphoric acid if you look at the structure p double bond o oh oh and then oh always remember every oxygen will be carrying the two lone pair of electron so that's why in this case how many lone pairs are there means 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 lone pairs are present and what is the basicity means 3 is the basicity that is phosphoric acid and it is in the plus 5 oxidation state there is one interesting fact is there man any oxide of the element or any halide of the element you take let us take for example phosphorus oxide p2o5 and its halide is pcl5 which is present in the plus 5 oxidation state for any element when you take that particular elements oxide and then halide and when they are hydrolyzed the hydrolyzed products mostly will be the acids since this is a non metal oxide mostly for the non metal oxides whenever they dissolved in the water they will produce the acids that acid oxidation number and then metal oxide oxidation number will be same so that's why p2o5 or pcl5 when hydrolyzed they produce the respective acid the next one is so see with phosphoric acid whatever the acids are possible we will write the next one is pyro phosphoric acid as i told you pyro phosphoric acid means take double h6p2o8 from that remove water means you will be having the h4p2o7 will come h4p2o7 means p double bond o p double bond o oh 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 and then oh will come here the oxidation state does not change it will be plus 5 but the basicity will be 4 for this thing so the basicity will be 4 why basicity is 4 because the hydrogens attached to the oxygen are four are there since four oh groups are present the basicity will be four itself so that is the thing that is pyrophosphoric acid let us see the another one metaphosphoric acid h po3 whenever the phosphoric acid is heated to low temperatures means it will lose water molecule but when it is very strongly heated it will lose all and forms the meta phosphoric acid here it is hpo3 tri meta phosphoric acid is there and then poly meta phosphoric acid is there so tri meta means three are there so it will become hpo3 tris will come hpo3 is p double bond o o o p double bond o o h d to bond o will come this is meta phosphoric acid let us go to tri meta tri meta means three acids how can you write the structures means three right between the phosphorus we will write the oxygen bonds and for every phosphorus we will be adding one double bonded oxygen and then one oh group we will be adding so you will get this tri meta phosphoric acid here for this basicity will be three for this basicity will be one oxidation state does not change at all now and poly meta phosphoric poly means many so it will be n so it is a chain molecule p p it continues 
n times it will come but every phosphorus will be having a double bonded oxygen and then oh group will be present so like this you can write the phosphorus oxo acid so one is phosphoric acid where the phosphorus will be present in the plus 5 oxidation state in this case three oh groups are attached to the phosphorus and one double bonded oxygen will be present pyrophosphoric acid on heating this thing it loses water molecule and forms this oxo acid and meta phosphoric acid tri meta and then poly meta is there means when they are very strongly heated then they will lose water molecules most and they will form the respective acids next let us see what are the other acids Let us see one more is there peroxy phosphoric acid. Peroxy phosphoric acid is H3PO5. So, this is an oxo acid of phosphorus which is having a peroxy linkage. Peroxy linkage means P double bond O, 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 H, O, H, and then O, H. Its oxidation state is plus 5, and this city will be 3 only. There will be no change in that thing. Like this, you can have the for phosphorus, whatever the oxo acids are present. So, pyrophosphoric acid, meta phosphoric acid, trimeta, polymeta, and then peroxy phosphoric acid. One more is there hypophosphoric acid. What I told you, hypo means phosphoric acid is there. To the phosphoric acid, it is hypo means its oxidation state decreases by one unit. So, its formula structure is P double bond O double bond O. OH, OH, OH and then OH will come. Its formula is H4P2O6 will come. Pyrophosphoric acid means its formula will be H4P2O7 and for this thing it will be H4P2O6 and this oxidation state for hypophosphoric acid oxidation state is plus 4. Phosphoric acid is plus 5. Hypo is there means it is lower than that. If it is plus 3 means it will become phosphorus acid. That's why it will be plus 4 oxidation state. What is the basicity means? 4. How many PP bonds are present? Here you see. From these things, how many O bonds are there? How many of the following oxo acids will have? PP linkages. How many oxo acids of phosphorus will be having the single P double bond O bond? Like that they will be asking you the questions. So that is the thing regarding the ic acids of phosphorus. Now let us go to the us acids of phosphorus. Phosphorus acid. This phosphorus acid is also known as phosphonic acid. Its formula is H3PO3. Look at the structure of this. P double bond O, OH, OH and then H will come. Oxidation state is plus 3 and basicity will be plus 2 will come. Here in the stoichiometry they will be asking you the questions. As we have discussed already in case of the salts, acidic salts are there and then basic salts are there, right? In them, how can we get the acidic salts and basic salts means by incomplete neutralization of the polybasic acids. Here its basicity is 2 is coming. Since its basicity is coming as 2, it can donate the 2 protons. If it donates 1 proton means it forms a salt that will be acidic in nature. If it donates 2 protons means 
it will be forming a neutral salt. Though hydrogen is there, that hydrogen is attached to the central atom which cannot be donated further. So that's why this is not possible. So that is phosphorus acid. Next, the phosphorus acid is also known as the phosphonic acid. Whenever you take P2O3 and PCL3 on hydrolysis, you will be getting this acid. Next, let us see pyrophosphorus acid. Pyrophosphorus acid means as we have discussed already H4P2O5 will come. H4P2O5 is P double bond O, P double bond O, OH, H, OH and then H will come whose basicity is 2 itself. That is pyrophosphorus acid and finally hypophosphorus acid hypophosphorus acid is H3PO2 will come this is also known as phosphinic acid this is also known as the phosphinic acid this phosphinic acid is the one this is the one and for this thing, P double bond O, OH, H and H. Oxidation state is plus 1 and basicity also plus 1 will come. So, like this, they will give you different oxo acids of phosphorus. Which of the following is having PP linkage? Which of the following is having only one P double bond O bond? Which of the following is having only seven lone pair electrons on the acid which of the following is formed by hydrolysis of P2O3 like the number of questions they will be asking you so and like this you can easily remember the oxo acids of phosphorus understood ma? so what is an oxo acid means already we had a definition about this thing acids in which the central atom is attached to the hydrogen atom through the oxygen atom is called as the oxo acid. In these oxo acids, carbon family will have oxo acids, Ox nitrogen family will have the oxo acids and what are their structures here? For phosphorus, what are the oxo acids and how to remember the respective names of these acids. Clear now? Any doubts for you people in this case? means I hope any doubts means you can note down in there you can type in the comment section ma. I will see it and I will explain this in the next video there is no issue at all so that is the oxo acid so for phosphorus what are the oxo acids means phosphoric acid pyrophosphoric metaphosphoric trimetaphosphoric polymetaphosphoric peroxyphosphoric hypophosphoric phosphorus acid pyrophosphorus acid and then hypophosphorus acid so that is the thing regarding this oxo acid this is the first part of this oxo acid so in the second part i will try to explain the oxo acids of oxygen family and then halogen family that also will take so much of time for today i will be closing here only and in the next video i will be doing the remaining oxo acids part clear right. take down this thing hope all of you are happily enjoying the learning of chemistry through these videos ma. if you like this video means click the like button if you want to share this with your friends means share the video if you want to get more updates from my channel please subscribe to the channel and click the bell icon right. thank you